Brainwise Presence. Primary 6. Science Quiz B. Part 1. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today we're exploring the wonders of science together with 20 awesome questions. Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go! Number 1. Which of the following is the correct order of biological organization from simplest to most complex? Again, which of the following is the correct order of biological organization from simplest to most complex? The choices are A. Tissue, cell, organ, organ system B. Cell, tissue, organ, organ system C. Organ, organ system, cell, tissue D. Cell, organ, tissue, organ system The correct answer is B. Cell, tissue, organ, organ system. The basic unit of life is the cell. Cells with similar functions group together to form tissues. Different tissues work together to form an organ, and organs work together in an organ system. Number 2. What is the primary function of the roots of a plant? Again, what is the primary function of the roots of a plant? The choices are a. To absorb water and nutrients from the soil. B. To make food. C. To produce flowers. D. To spread seeds. The correct answer is A. To absorb water and nutrients from the soil. The roots anchor the plant and are responsible for absorbing essential water and minerals from the soil, which are then transported to the rest of the plant. Number 3. Animals with a backbone are called blank, while animals without a backbone are called blank. Again, animals with a backbone are called blank, while animals without a backbone are called blank. The choices are A. Mammals, reptiles, B. Vertebrates, invertebrates. C. Terrestrial, aquatic. D. Predators, prey. The correct answer is B. Vertebrates, invertebrates. The presence or absence of a vertebral column backbone is the primary classification that divides the animal kingdom into vertebrates and invertebrates. Number 4. What happens when you mix an acid with a base? Again, what happens when you mix an acid with a base? The choices are A. An explosion occurs B. The mixture becomes more acidic C. The mixture becomes more basic D. They neutralize each other The correct answer is D. They neutralize each other. When an acid and a base are mixed, they react in a process called neutralization. This reaction typically produces a salt and water, bringing the pH closer to 7 neutral. Number 5. A ball rolling on a grassy field slows down and eventually stops. What force is primarily responsible for this? Again. A ball rolling on a grassy field slows down and eventually stops. What force is primarily responsible for this? The choices are A. Gravity B. Magnetism C. Air pressure D. Friction The correct answer is D. Friction. Friction is the force that opposes motion between two surfaces in contact. The friction between the ball and the grass causes the ball to slow down. Number 6. What are the non-living components of an ecosystem called? Again, what are the non-living components of an ecosystem called? The choices are A. Biotic factors B. Abiotic factors C. Producers D. Consumers
The correct answer is B. Abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are the non-living parts of an ecosystem, such as sunlight, water, soil, and temperature. Biotic factors are the living or once living parts. Number 7. Which of the following is an example of a renewable energy source? Again, which of the following is an example of a renewable energy source? The choices are A. Solar power B. Coal C. Natural gas D. Petroleum The correct answer is A. Solar power Solar power is a renewable resource because the sun's energy is virtually inexhaustible. Coal, natural gas, and petroleum are non-renewable fossil fuels that will eventually run out. Number 8. What is the outermost layer of the Earth called? Again, what is the outermost layer of the Earth called? The choices are A. Mantle B. Outer core C. Inner core D. Crust The correct answer is D. Crust The Earth is composed of several layers. We live on the crust, which is the thinnest, outermost layer. Number 9 The process of breaking down rocks into smaller pieces is called blank, while the process of moving those pieces to a new location is called blank. Again, the process of breaking down rocks into smaller pieces is called blank, while the process of moving those pieces to a new location is called blank. The choices are A. Erosion, weathering B. Weathering, erosion C. Compaction, cementation D. Deposition, compaction The correct answer is B. Weathering, erosion Weathering is the breakdown of rocks at the Earth's surface. Erosion is the process by which wind, water, ice, or gravity transports the weathered material. Number 10. What is a galaxy? Again, what is a galaxy? The choices are A. A single star and its planets. B. A large cloud of gas and dust. C. A massive system of stars, stellar remnants, interstellar gas, dust, and dark matter. D. A group of comets orbiting a star. The correct answer is C. A massive system of stars, stellar remnants, interstellar gas, dust, and dark matter. A galaxy is a huge collection of celestial bodies bound together by gravity. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. Great work so far! You're halfway to becoming a science whiz! Ready for the next questions? You've got this! Number 11. What are constellations? Again, what are constellations? The choices are A. Groups of planets that are close together. B. Groups of stars that form a recognizable pattern in the sky. C. Clouds of gas where stars are born. D. The different phases of the moon. The correct answer is B. Groups of stars that form a recognizable pattern in the sky. Constellations are patterns of stars that people have imagined to look like animals, objects, or mythical figures. Examples include Orion and Ursa Major the Big Dipper. Number 12. A pendulum swinging back and forth is an example of what type of motion? Again, a pendulum swinging back and forth is an example of what type of motion? The choices are A. Periodic motion B. Linear motion C. Random motion D. Rotational motion
The correct answer is A. Periodic motion Periodic motion is a motion that repeats itself in equal intervals of time. A swinging pendulum and a planet orbiting the Sun are examples. Number 13. Which of the following is a way to conserve resources by processing used materials into new products? Again, which of the following is a way to conserve resources by processing used materials into new products? The choices are A. Reducing B. Reusing C. Recycling D. Repurposing The correct answer is C. Recycling Recycling involves collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new products. Number 14. A force is a push or a pull. Which of these is not an effective force on an object? Again, a force is a push or a pull. Which of these is not an effective force on an object? The choices are A. It can change the object's direction. B. It can change the object's shape. C. It can change the object's mass. D. It can change the object's speed. The correct answer is C. It can change the object's mass. A force can start, stop, or change the direction of motion, and it can also deform an object. However, force does not change the mass, which is the amount of matter in an object. Number 15. Which two organ systems work together to transport oxygen throughout the body? Again, which two organ systems work together to transport oxygen throughout the body? The choices are A. Digestive and nervous B. Skeletal and muscular C. Respiratory and circulatory D. Endocrine and excretory The correct answer is C. Respiratory and circulatory The respiratory system takes in oxygen and the circulatory system, led by the heart and blood vessels, is responsible for transporting that oxygen to all the cells in the body. Number 16. What are comets primarily made of? Again, what are comets primarily made of? The choices are A. Rock and metal B. Hot, glowing gas C. Ice, dust and rock D. Liquid water and soil The correct answer is C. Ice, dust, and rock. Comets are often called dirty snowballs. They are cosmic bodies of frozen gases, rock, and dust that orbit the sun. When they get close to the sun, they heat up and release gas and dust, forming a tail. Number 17. Which organ system provides structure, support, and protection for the human body, and also produces blood cells? Again. Which organ system provides structure, support, and protection for the human body, and also produces blood cells? The choices are A. Muscular system B. Circulatory system C. Skeletal system D. Nervous system The correct answer is Seen skeletal system. The skeletal system, made of bones, cartilage, and ligaments, provides the body's framework, protects vital internal organs, and bone marrow is where new blood cells are made. 18. What is the important role of organisms like fungi and bacteria in an ecosystem? Again, what is the important role of organisms like fungi and bacteria in an ecosystem? The choices are A. They are primary producers. B. They are apex predators. C. They are decomposers. D. They are parasites. The 
The correct answer is C. They are decomposers. Decomposers break down dead organic matter like dead plants and animals and return essential nutrients to the soil, which are then used by producers. Number 19. What layer of the earth is found between the crust and the core and is made of semi-molten rock? Again, what layer of the earth is found between the crust and the core and is made of semi-molten rock? The choices are A. The lithosphere B. The mantle C. The atmosphere D. The hydrosphere The correct answer is B. The mantle the mantle is the thickest layer of the Earth. It is composed of hot, dense, semi-solid rock that flows in convection currents, which drive plate tectonics. Number 20. What instrument is used to measure air pressure? Again, what instrument is used to measure air pressure? The choices are A. Anemometer B. Thermometer C. Barometer D. Hygrometer The correct answer is C. Barometer. A barometer measures atmospheric pressure. Changes in pressure can indicate a change in the weather. Falling pressure often precedes stormy weather. Fantastic job! You completed the science quiz. Give yourself a big round of applause. Comment your score and keep exploring the world of science. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun. Check out other videos from BrainWise.